Good morning, everyone. Today is a day. Today I'm going to get my hair done, but Matt was kind enough to drive me today because he is actually off work today. Today is his birthday. So we are gonna celebrate his birthday today after I get my hair done. Hopefully it won't take too long. I mentioned in my last video that I was getting it cut. So I'm a little bit nervous, I have to be honest. Yeah, you're very nervous. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to do. I mean, it's a big decision. It's a big decision. I really want to change. And I wanted it initially when I went and got my hair uh, dyed back blonder in yeah. January. And I kind of chickened out and just did a little bit of a cut. And so this time I really have to do it. I just, I don't know, I want to change. I want something new and fresh and I'm excited slash very nervous. I mean, I think it's scarier I mean, on this end than it will be once you do it. Yeah. So I think it'd be fun. My hand is literally shaking holding the camera because I'm scared. <laughs> I think I'm just nervous because I'm afraid, like I just hope that I'm able to style it. Oh yeah. Because I'm just, well. yeah, I'm just not quite used to shorter hair. I've never really had, I've had it cut a couple, when we first moved to Florida, yeah. I got it cut pretty short. It looked, it looked really good. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll put a picture of that here. If I, I feel like it was easier for you to style it too, so I think it'd be fine. I mean, it's just going to be a little bit different. Honestly, I feel like shorter hair is more high maintenance though. It could be. Because you have to style it, and whereas, look at my hair right now, I just pull it back in a ponytail. Yeah. yeah, that option goes away. <laughs> yeah, but look who's in the back seat in there. I don't know if you can see anything because it might be just too dark because of the way that the sun is right now. So I'm very sorry if this entire clip is completely dark. Um, but little Mickey's in the back here too. He's going for a ride with us. And yeah, I guess I will check in with you guys a little bit later. All right, it is several hours later and here is my haircut. Can you believe it? <laughs> She gave me exactly what I wanted. I wanted it very short. I showed her Julianne Huff. We went a little bit longer, um, but I could not be happier. This is exactly what I wanted. I wanted it very French chic to kind of match my black and white theme in my wardrobe, and I love it so much. If you are in the Orlando area, Alicia at Theory Salon, she's at the Mills location. She is such a badass. She gave me like spot on, could not be better. She really spent her time going in and getting the ends so they wouldn't be poofy so that they would lay flat. And because I have thicker hair, and she also commented on the health of my hair and said, this is the healthiest that my hair has ever been. And you guys remember I went copper a few years ago and then I was going back to blonde and we're still taking it blonde gradually. I think we might go a little bit brighter next time, but she's just doing such a great job with making it so that it's not over processing my hair and she said my hair has never felt better and she's been doing my hair ever since I had extensions so she's felt my hair at a lot of different stages but I have to contribute the Sicily hair oil for <laughs> this is an insanely pricey product but oh my goodness it has completely transformed my hair along with using the Dyson air wrap I don't use a ton of heat on my hair anymore but I'm so so thrilled with this haircut. I love it so much. It feels so nice and lightweight. I just couldn't be happier. She gave me exactly what I wanted. And she also said I can kind of flip it over and wear it. I'm, I'm holding my camera. I don't have my tripod in here. So I apologize if it's a little shaky, but she said I could flip it over like this and make it more of like a dramatic part, which I think looks really fun too. But look at how good the layers are and the highlights. I'm just so happy with it. But I'm trying to touch up my makeup now because we're gonna go and celebrate Matt's birthday. I wanna make sure, hi. Hello. <laughs> Matt's in here now. Hi. <laughs> your hair looks incredible. Thanks. I can't get over it. Thank you. I'm ready to go celebrate your birthday. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, okay. let's go. Let's go.
good morning. If my teeth are green, it's because I'm drinking a green smoothie right now. But I thought I would do my morning skincare with you. I will say that I just did my workout and it was very strange. <laughs> Ow. Oh my God. It was very strange doing a workout with my hair this short because I couldn't pull it up. And when I woke up this morning and the first thing I did when I went to brush my teeth, I looked at the beard. I was like, oh, who is this person? I feel so different, but I really, I'm still very, very happy with it. I am curious how it's going to feel when I wash my hair for the first time. But anyways, I'm going to put some of my Clarins lip balm on. This is the extra firming lip and contour balm. And I always just use this as part of my skincare routine because I feel like as I'm getting older, I'm 38 now, I'm getting those kind of creepiness around my lips and I've never had lip injections and I do feel like that may be down the line for me. But I woke up this morning and I just feel so puffy and salty because Matt and I, Matt wanted pizza for his birthday. So we had very good pizza last night and had so much fun. But this morning I can just see that, oh, I had, I had some cheese last night. I had some salt. I already washed my face. I used this in the shower after my workout. This is the Creme Radiance from Lancome. Um, I'm just gonna go straight in with the La Mer Treatment Lotion. If you saw my last, um, my evening skincare routine video, I talked about this and I just, this is one of my favorite, this is my favorite skincare product. And that's saying a lot because I consider myself quite the uh, skincare, I, I just, I love skincare. I, I hoard skincare. I could try any and everything, which my skin does not appreciate, but I still like to do. <laughs> but this I think is my absolute favorite product of all time. It just feels amazing. And if you have, I mean, I have more, I would say more combination skin, it gets oily throughout my T-zone, um, but my cheeks do get dry. And yeah, this is perfect for all skin types. Just such a great product. And then every other day, I like to use the Serum Arethos from Biologique Recherche, but I am not gonna use it today because I used it yesterday. It's just a calming serum. It has niacinamide in it, and it's good for the redness and things that I get with. I have mild rosacea, um, but I am gonna go in with my La Mer. This is the original moisturizing cream. Have you seen that there's a new one? I wanna try it. It's on my list. I may get that. I'm getting very close to the bottom of this jar, if you can see. I got this in a gift set for Christmas. So I am getting down to the bottom of this and I think I might try the fresh cream next because the texture of that sounds like something that would be perfect for my skin type. I think it's supposed to be more, it's a little lighter. It's not the gel cream, which I've used a gel cream in the past and I love that one, but I'm just gonna use about this much. Um, but yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to get that during the Sephora sale if I can. Um, I'm pretty sure that they have it on Sephora's website. So I plan to pick that up. I think the sale starts on April 5th, right? So yeah, I think I'm going to try that one next and see how that one feels because now that it's getting warmer here in Florida, I feel like something lighter will be better than this original cream. But this actually did really well with my skin. I didn't notice myself getting too oily. Um, or anything like that, but I have this little sample of the Sicily eye contour mask that I'm going to use for my eye cream today because my eyes are extremely puffy and this if you've ever used this eye contour mask, you will know this is legit. It works so well at depuffing and it lays really nicely under makeup. It says, I think that you're supposed to tissue it off, lay kind of like a thick layer on your, um, like in your eye area and on your lids, but I'm just gonna do a light layer and then kind of just use it as an eye cream because it lays really well under concealer and it just smooths everything out and deep puffs. I've had the actual um, full size of it before, but I just got this sample because I ordered some more hair care and it, they had a free gift with purchase. I'm gonna use my little Sicily eye roller that came with, I got their eye cream once and I haven't used it in a while. Gosh, I haven't used it in about a year, but it works really well too. I can't remember the exact name. I'll put a picture here. But yeah, this mask is fantastic. And now that I have the sample, I know that it's gonna make me wanna get the full size again because I just miss having it in my routine, especially using it in the mornings on days like this when I feel really puffy. I don't know if you can see, but it immediately just plumps the eye area. I realize that this looks disgusting. I just got a lot of greens in it and it has like uh, this protein powder that I like. And 
I like to have this after I do my workouts in the morning. So it looks, it's kind of a thick consistency, but it looks like it's not going to absorb and play nice with concealer, but it actually works really well. You do have to give it a little bit to kind of soak in, but oh my gosh, I just love this so much. I don't know if you can tell, but I, I feel like I can already see a difference in my eyes. So here's the sunscreen that I'm using right now. As you can see, I'm literally down to the last pump, it seems. Uh, this is the Hydrolipid UV Mineral Sunscreen. I just get this from um, my esthetician and I actually, I think you can, I think you can get it on Amazon. So I'm gonna order some more. I do one finger and then another finger. And I'll just put this on in the mornings when we go and take Mickey for a walk outside um, before I do any of my skincare or anything just to protect my skin. And I always try to wear a hat because I am noticing now, now that I'm in my late 30s, I'm noticing all of the little sunspots popping up from, oh man, years of tanning bed abuse, I would say. I went to the tanning bed pretty much every single day when I was in high school for, gosh, and in my early 20s, oh man. I would lay in the tanning bed for 20 minutes at a time and no sunscreen and yeah, it was a really, really, really bad habit and something that I did for, I, I wanna say it was five years maybe, like way too long. If any of you though laid in the tanning bed, you will know there is nothing, nothing that compares to a tanning bed nap. For whatever reason, it just was the most relaxing time. <laughs> and I'm, I miss that, I miss that part of the tanning bed. Do I look less puffy now? I don't know, I feel better. I always feel better when I get my skincare done, but I'm gonna finish my smoothie and I will check it in a bit. I apologize for the iPhone footage, but I wanted to film my outfit for you really fast. I just got back from the post office. I went and shipped my niece and nephew their Easter presents, and then I had another a couple of other errands that I needed to run. So I wanted to show you what I'm wearing today. I shared this blouse in another video, but this is from the Frankie shop. It's that really oversized style that I'm really into right now. And then I'm wearing the pants that I got from J. Crew earlier this season. My belt is from Aritzia, and these shoes are the ones that I got from Tuckernuck. They're my favorite right now. And then my earrings are from J. Crew. This necklace, I think I got this at Nordstrom Rack, I want to say. It has an M on it. And then my bracelet is just an old bracelet from J. Crew. I just came home to a couple of exciting packages that I wanted to share. Oh, have you seen these drinks? I was out at Sprouts. And I was in that, well, let me put these things down first. Hold on. <laughs> so I was at Sprouts and I was looking at their zero proof wine and cocktail section and they had these Kin Euphorics. And then I went and followed them on Instagram and turns out it's partially owned or something like that by Bella Hadid, had no idea. But this is the actual sunshine. This has a tiny bit of caffeine. Let me see how many milligrams of caffeine, 33 milligrams. So not very much at all. I think an eight ounce cup of coffee has like 80 to 100, something like that. So it also has vitamin C, D3, zinc, collagen, peptides, saffron, and turmeric. It tastes kind of like a mimosa, I love this. So I've been drinking these, it came in a pack of um, four and there were different types. There was this one that's more of an uplifting and then there was one that's calming that I really like as well that I've been having at night. Um, but yeah, these are really nice. So if you're I'm not drinking or if you're looking for an alternative or even if you just want something different to try, these are really cool. It says that it's a functional beverage for modern rituals. Okay, but I wanted to share what I got in the mail. So the first thing, I do have a J. Crew order. <laughs> the rest of my order came in that I talked to you about in my last video, but I got something so exciting that I cannot wait to share with you. Um, my sister and brother-in-law, they run a media company where they do photography and visuals for different hotels like the Ritz and um, different Marriott hotels. And they actually did a collaboration. They're also influencers as well. So they, I will link their Instagram down below, um, but they have a beautiful travel brand and they did a collaboration with Apotheke Candle and they sent me one and I cannot wait. So, okay, here's a little card on the top and then look how cute these matches are. But you can actually get this at Nordstrom. But it's so cool because they designed everything with this collaboration. They came out with the scent and the way that the vessel looks. I can already smell it. Oh, it smells so good. 
Oh my goodness, look. It says bergamot tangerine. Look at how pretty, can you tell? Kind of has that hologram look on the box. And they actually took this photo. You can see the woman with the surfboard and then there's palm trees. It's a very holographic box and there's white font. So it's kind of hard for me to read here in the sunlight, but I'm gonna try. So it says, vibrant scents of citrusy Italian bergamot and juicy Sicilian tangerine are accentuated by subtle hints of sweet dahlia, a touch of champagne, uh, add, a touch of champagne adds sparkle while creamy vanilla and amber lend warmth to this bright and exhilarating fragrance. <gasps> that sounds amazing. That sounds absolutely beautiful. So it gives you the burn tips here. Oh my gosh. Oh, it smells so good. It's the perfect combination of very citrusy with a little herbal. And look at this. They sent me a picture of it, but seeing it in person, oh my goodness, what a cool vessel. It's very holographic. Wow, can you imagine how gorgeous this will be when I burn it? Oh, it smells so good. This is the perfect spring and summer fragrance. And I think that they have reed diffusers and travel size. Wow, I might need another one of these. This smells so good. Oh my goodness, I love it. And I love how cool that is, wow. Huge congratulations to my sister Tara and Zach and the League Travels team. This is absolutely beautiful. You guys definitely, definitely nailed this fragrance. It is so perfect for spring and summer. Then I have a couple of things from J. Crew that I wanted to share. Sorry, this bag is probably very loud. What I'll do is I'll style these. I could probably put both of these on with the pants that I'm wearing. I'm just wearing those um, linen, the Sydney pant, I believe, that I shared in one of my last J. Crew videos. I feel like I could probably be sponsored by J. Crew at this point, and because I've basically purchased their entire spring collection, I'm very sorry. I feel like I'm a walking J. Crew catalog at this point, but they have just done such a great job with their spring collection this year, and it's, com it's fitting the kind of vibe and the style that I'm going for, and everything I see, I'm like, oh, I need that, I need that. It fits, it fits. I can wear this with this and this and this, and it's getting out of hand. So yeah, if J. Crew wants to sponsor me, do you know what I'm actually so upset about? They, uh, you may not know this, but I used to live in Charleston, South Carolina, and I saw that they just had this massive pop-up there at the J. Crew on King Street. And I think even the creative director of, or creative, I'm pretty sure it was the creative director for J. Crew was at the store and they had this big event. Wouldn't that have been so cool to go to? Okay, so the first thing that I got is this belt, which if you saw my last video, the capsule wardrobe that I'm creating for spring is a lot of black and white, and they have this belt. And I had to have this belt, of course. Doesn't it go with everything? It's like, it's perfect for everything that I've got this season. Um, what size did I get? I got an extra small. So I'm gonna put this on now. This is the belt that I had on in my last video. This one's from Aritzia. I liked it because it had this kind of antique brass. Um, and it, I don't know, it's just very simple. But yeah, this one was from Aritzia. They also had another version of this that had more of a saddle brown color. And I really liked that one too. But I feel like with all of the black and white that I have going on right now, this one fits a little better. I'm gonna tuck the tag here. Oh, that's cute. So cute. I feel like you're a little high. I'm gonna lower you a bit. I think I had my heels on earlier and I just took them off. So I shrunk. Um, this is the next top that I got. Look at how pretty this is. But I loved the brass buttons and the pockets and I just thought that this would be nice to have. I could dress this up or down and it goes perfectly with the capsule wardrobe that I'm building for this season. I'll show you what the back looks like here so you can see the shape of it. I feel like this is one that you'll probably need to wear a, or I'll probably have to wear a razor back bra or maybe just a strapless because this part right here is pretty thin. So I'll probably end up just wearing a strapless bra with this. I can smell this candle. Oh my goodness. It just smells so good. I don't even need to light it. I can just smell it. Here, I'm gonna move this so you guys can see how pretty it is. I can't imagine when I get this lit how gorgeous it's gonna be when the light comes through. Ooh. Okay, now this I know I showed in my last vlog 
where I talked about how I had, wait, so I showed this vest, I just wore it the other day, which is why it's kind of wrinkled and unbuttoned. Um, but I showed this and I said I got one very similar, but in white and it has more of a scoop neck. Oh yeah, this is nice. So I did get a double zero in this one. I mentioned in my last video that I wish I would have gotten a double zero in this vest just because I feel like it was a little bit big. Wearing it the other day, I didn't see a problem in it. I kind of liked it a bit oversized like that. It felt more comfortable when sitting down and stuff. This actually looks a little wider though. I don't know if you can see, but this is a double zero. I love the scoop neckline. That's really nice. So they're kind of similar. This one does not have the buckle on the back, but I do like the seams here. You see the curved seam on the back and then the curved seam on the front. So it gives that really nice kind of figure hugging effect. This one is lined in the back, which is just like the vest. So if you can see here, the vest is also lined in the back. I definitely think I'm gonna keep both of these. Originally, I was thinking that I would return one depending on which one I liked, but I actually like both of these. I, I can see myself wearing these a lot. I put you down on my floor so that I can talk to you about something, but look at this. Can you see the way he's laying? He's lying on the floor in front of the rug and he literally looks like a rug. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is absolutely precious. Oh my goodness, look at him, <laughs> can't. I brought you down here so that I can sit and share my laptop with you because I thought we could do a little shopping together. Ironically, and please, I genuinely did not know that Cicely was having their friends and family sale and I've been talking about them a lot in this video just because I just replenished, I'll now show you because I have the boxes here. I just replenished the revitalizing shampoo and the precious hair care oil, the one that I talked about um, that has completely transformed my hair. And now they're having their friends and family sale. Everything is 20% off on their website. So I thought we could do a little shopping together. I can share my picks with you. And if you're interested in trying anything, now would be a great time to buy something. I used the eye contour mask this morning. I was talking about how I haven't had that in my collection in a while. I'm definitely gonna be buying one of those. If I can figure this out, I'm going to record my screen. That way I can share this with you here on the screen and we can do a little shopping together. You know what? It would probably be easier if I did this on my phone. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this morning when I was doing my skincare, the reason why I had that little sachet of the eye contour mask is because it came with the gift with purchase from Sicily. And what else was included in this that I've been using since I got this maybe last week. Um, I've been keeping them in the box though because I just think that the box is so pretty and it feels very luxurious when I use these at night. But it's two of their Supremia collection. Um, Supremia, I believe is how you say it. The two from the La Nuit. So it has the Supreme Anti-Aging Skincare Lotion and then the Night Cream. So I'll show you what it looks like. And I've been using both of these at night. Now these are slightly out of my budget. Um, because these are, I think, one their most prestige line in their skincare range. But oh my goodness, they work so well. Sicily is known for using very beautiful French botanicals in their skincare, and they do a lot of research with botanicals and plant-based. So this is the night cream, and I've been using both of these. They are extremely luxurious. I don't think that this is completely necessary in my skincare routine at my age. However, this is definitely something that I would be willing to invest in in the future because these work so well. But the gift with purchase also included their Black Rose Cream Mask. This is what they're known for. I've also used the Black Rose Oil before and it is very, very nice. It also came with a little sample of the All Day, All Year. And this is actually, I've had a full size of this before. I've used it in the past. I would use this more of a day cream, more like a day cream, because it does protect against environmental aggress aggressors. So this is an antioxidant rich cream that helps if you're around a lot of pollution or just protecting you from the elements throughout the day. This is a very nice cream. It has a really nice lightweight texture. It's not too heavy but it does provide a lot of moisture now i will say though i'm gonna see if they have a set that includes their 
emulsion. This is what I was looking for. So I wanted to see if they had a gift set that had the ecological compound because that's something that I really want to have in my routine. It's a really nice lotion. This is one of their best selling products. It helps to balance your skin, the microbiome in your skin. And it has what kind of extracts is in here? Burdock and meadow sweet extracts. Uh, it just feels really nice and leaves your skin looking very smooth. What I find that it does for me is it diminishes the appearance of my pores and just gives me a more all over um, even skin tone. I notice a huge difference in how I don't know, just the overall appearance of my skin when I use this. So it looks like they have an essential set, which includes the Ecological Compound Advanced Formula, and it's $300, and for this, in this package, it would be $240, and then you get a free floral toning lotion, and then you get a smaller size of the cleansing milk with White Lily. I don't think that I've ever tried the cleansing milk. I could have had a sample of that before in the past, and I just don't remember, but I have tried their floral toning lotion, and it is gorgeous. It's a very gentle toner, and it has floral extracts, obviously, and it just feels it doesn't make your skin feel dry or tight. It's not too abrasive. You guys know that I have rosacea prone skin and I have to be very careful of the types of ingredients that I use and Sicily has never caused any issues for me. So because I have been wanting to get the ecological compound for a while to include that in my skincare routine, I think I'm gonna add this set to my cart. So it looks like they have a set that includes a full size of the eye contour mask as well as the full size of their eye and lip contour cream. I've gotten this before during the Nordstrom anniversary sale and I have to say this is actually less than what I paid when I got it for the Nordstrom anniversary sale. This is $196. I think when I got it, it was $210. And it's typically, they'll typically bring it out every year. Um, so I think I'm gonna add this to my cart. I'm gonna probably go back and edit a little bit, but right now I'm gonna try and see if I can, um, what the, what kind of offers they have. If I didn't just pick up another one of their revitalizing straightening shampoos, um, I, the actual bottle is in my room. I just have the box in here. I would probably get this set. This is the Revitalizing Nourishing Discovery Hair Care Set. It's $144, but the shampoo alone is $90, and this is actually a larger size of the shampoo, and it comes with a pump, which I love when shampoos have a pump. It just makes it so much easier. And then it comes with a little sample size of the Reconstructing Nourishing Balm, the Precious Hair Care Oil, um, which is what I have here, and then also the La Creme, what is this? Promo La Creme? I don't know what that is. I've never used that before and I don't, I can't really tell what it is from this photo. But this is actually a really good deal. Kind of, I'm kind of upset that I completely didn't, I, I get their emails too, that's how I found out about this, but I had no idea that it was coming up. I need to do better research. I know that this is an insane price to pay for hair care, but I have, I love or Orbe Gold Lust, that is my go-to normally. But during the warmer months here, it's my hair gets so frizzy and it just, it gets so dry, the hard water, it's so, so, it just really, it's so rough on my hair and discovering this line has been so healing. So it's a splurge, I know, but it's something that I budget for and I just make it a priority and I, you know, cut corners in other areas. Okay, wait a minute. So here's another set that has the ecological compound, but it actually has a mini size. You know what, I think I might get this one instead because I like the little samples that it comes with rather than the other one. So this one has the floral facial toning lotion. It also has the a cleansing milk. It has the buff and wash, which I really like. Now I'm not a huge fan of abrasive cleansers that have exfoliating um, particles in it, but this one is very gentle and it has a really nice herbal fresh feel and I haven't used it in a while. So it comes with just a really small size of it, but it also comes with a 10 mil of the all day, all year. So I actually think I'm going to go with the smaller size of this so that I can get those little sample sizes. And I love having these sample sizes too because they're great to travel with. And Matt and I are getting ready to go out of town. So I'm gonna take out the one that was 240 for the set that came with a full-size toning lotion and the cleanser because I don't really need those things. 
So one of the reasons why I got the gift with purchase and why I picked up some more of the hair care was because I did purchase the new Fido Tom Perfection Foundation. I don't know if any of you have heard of it. It's, um, they just released this, I mean, I think it was last month. I think it was in February, but it's more of a, they call it a luminous matte finish or a radiant matte finish. I think it comes in around how many, uh, shades, 29 shades. So I picked it up in the shade. I'm gonna look back at my Nordstrom purchases to see which shade that I got, but I didn't film a video on it because as soon as I got it, I tested it and it was too dark and I was very nervous. I should have just gone to my department store to pick it up, but I really wanted to take advantage of the gift with purchase that they were having on Nordstrom and we don't have a Nordstrom here in Orlando. So I got it in 2C soft beige, which was too pink for me and I, kind of figured with the C in it, I figured it would lean a little bit too cool. I have more of a neutral skin tone. So I think I'm gonna pick it up now that it's on sale um, and get it in another shade. I'm just trying to figure out, I think I'm gonna go with the one in ivory. I don't think the one W, I think I'm gonna do one in. So I'm gonna get it right now because it'll be $25 off. It is a pricey foundation, I understand, and I do not, expect for people to purchase a foundation like this. But if you're someone like me, I really love using foundations that also have skincare properties. And I don't have, I don't like to keep a ton of foundations on hand. I stick with more of a foundation wardrobe, if you will, where I'll only have a few at a time. Um, and Sisley foundations are excellent. And when I used this, um, when I tried it on, I loved the finish of it. I will say that it felt a little, it was one of those that you really only need half a pump all over your whole face because I can see that it can get a little heavy. Okay, my camera just ran out of battery and I had to change it, but because I don't necessarily need an eye cream right now, I'm gonna see how much just the eye contour mask would be without the without getting the gift set and just to make sure that I'm, I'm actually gonna save money here. So the eye contour mask on its own is $140. It's $196 for the set. Even though that is a better deal, I don't necessarily need an eye cream right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get the eye contour mask instead. Okay, I've made my way over to the lip section. And if you've ever used any of the Sicily lip products, they are fantastic. I love the Fido Rouge Shine. Those are gorgeous. More of a balm-like. One of those products that you can just put on without having to look in the mirror. But what I'm looking into is I kind of want, I don't want a lip twist. I actually got a lip twist in this gift with purchase. What shade is this? This is number 11. So this is what they look like. Really cute packaging here. And you just twist up the product from the bottom. I like these, but right now I've been and because I just cut my hair, I feel like I'm more, I'm into wearing a bolder lip. This is what number 11 looks like. I'll show you here. That is a gorgeous, just everyday neutral. Mm, these are so soft too, it really feels nice. But I think I'm looking to purchase one of their Lafito Rouge, the popular and iconic. I feel like if you've tried it, you will know it's just, there's nothing like a Sicily lipstick. The pigmentation, the shape of their bullet is so different and unique. It kind of has more of like a diamond cut and it just fits on your lips so well. I love having these in my collection and I feel like with my hairstyle now, I want something that's a bit more punchy, a bit more bold. So I think I'm gonna go with number 28, Rose Shanghai. It looks like it would be a really fun bright pink. I don't think I've had this color in my collection before. I should also note that one of the reasons why I have been able to try a lot of Sicily products is because my cousin actually worked for one in Bloomingdale's in New York City for a while. So she would send me samples and I got to try a lot of products and then just became a really big fan of the brand. Uh, this was, oh man, at least a decade ago. So I have been a very big fan of Sisley for a while. And I just think that when it comes to, I don't really know how to describe it except for everything is just made really well made. The formulations, the ingredients that they use, it's along the same line as, like I said, my love for Chantecaille. I, I love that the, I love the botanical approach. I love that they are constantly innovating. I love that they have makeup that's infused with skincare. I'm always looking for new ways to infuse skincare in my products. So that's one reason why Sisley is one of my favorite brands.